And we're back. Mike Cernovich. Cernovich.com with a disturbing story because um, this fellow, James Gunn, works for Disney. So the, these tweets were not being reported on by the mainstream media. Of course, the fake news media is not reporting on this. But let's go ahead and, and take a, um, a preview through the Twitter account. And by the way, I cannot read these because that will get edited. So if I read these tweets out, what will happen is uh, five years later, people edit them. And then my own followers are going to say, oh, my God, I, I saw a video of you saying terrible things. Well, yes because that's how audio editing works. So let's just go ahead and look at what James Gunn is saying. Um, James Gunn is talking openly about, um, well, I mean, you can, you can read these for yourself. James Gunn retweets Peter Alton. I like it when blank, blank. Then he talks about being touched, um, sick stuff. Then Peter Alton had, had tweeted out, why is James Gunn always hanging out with why is James Gunn always hanging out with large human being and one extremely small human being? So that's a little, you know, that's a little bit weird, right? Um, why, you know, why is he always hanging out with the large one? Uh, it sounds to me like that's probably his bodyguard and then that probably means a child. But, you know, we don't know for sure, but this is the kind of thing that needs to be explained. But instead, uh, the the... The, instead of explaining it, of course, the um, tweet was deleted. So why is James Gunn always hanging out with one extremely lo um, large human being and one extremely small human being? You don't have to be a genius to um, figure out what that means. Um, his next one was about the Expendables and what he did to the little uh, P-U-S-S, -S, another letter after that, boy next to him. Um, in another tweet, he says he should have invited you into his movie, and he talks about castrating a little boy. These tweets are all real, by the way. Um, you know, these are not the kind of tweets that I could fabricate because that would be that would be game over for me, right? If I if anybody fabricated tweets advocating child rape and pedophilia, like that's that's the end of the line for you. There's no there's no legal um, defense sometimes, right? There's no legal defense for that. Another tweet, he says, Eagle snatches kids is what James uh, Gunn calls when he gets lucky. Okay. Um, again, this is all live. Um, he and his friend Lloyd Kaufman joked the M word to a then underage Justin Bieber. So this tweet was 2010. So by the way, the fake news media is running interference. The fake news media is saying, oh, you know, these are old tweets. Okay, well, you're right. This is an old tweet. How old was Justin Bieber in 2010? Right. So they're going, oh, oh, I mean, James Gunn was just joking about pedophilia 10 years ago, eight years ago. Lighten up, bro. Lighten up. Well, let's look at how old was Bieber, Justin Bieber in 2010. So Lloyd Kaufman said that per James Gunn's instructions, they were M-A-S-T-U-R-B-A-T-I-N-G to Justin Bieber. So if you look at Justin Bieber's age at the time, he was 16 years old. So they want to say, oh, this is an old tweet, old tweet. Well, okay, so in this old tweet, Bieber is 16. He's not 24 like he is today. So why don't you explain why your friend Lloyd Coffin from his ver verified Twitter profile um, said that per your instructions, he was um, you know, performing sexual acts on himself to an underage uh, minor. So you can go ahead and explain that one uh, to Disney. These are, of course, again, all real. Uh, James Gunn likes to imagine storybooks with a pedophile theme. Again, these are all archived tweets. James Gunn said he's doing a film about the giving tree. I don't know if you know what the giving tree is about. You can go on Wikipedia and find that, and it's a children's book. It's about a child and uh, the relation. Uh, look, the, I mean... Do some homework, okay? This is a hard. Um, another one, he says, the Hardy Boys and the mystery of what it feels like when Uncle Bernie, you know, molests them, essentially. So, I mean, this is all here. This is, uh, the mainstream media will not cover this. You have to share these videos. You have to share this article from uh, Cernovich.com. You have to because the fake news media won't share it. WAPO, New York Times. I mean, could you imagine Roseanne made one joke 
One joke Roseanne made, and that was it. Right? Biggest story of the day, but talking about pedophilia, um, talking about how he feels when boys touch him, uh, that apparently is not a, a newsworthy story because that's not in any of the mainstream publications that wrote about Roseanne. Um, in a blog post, he deleted his blog, actually. So jamesgun.com, he deleted his blog post. But we always, um, we have archives of everything. We save all this stuff, before, you know, before we do this. So um, James Gunn has a blog post where he says, monkey, J-E-R-K-E-D, off on kid. And in this, he talks about, I mean, this is terrible. If you have children in the room, um, please don't, please don't have them hear this. This is not the kind of thing that children should talk about. But he said, the monkey on Max Keeble's big movie walked over a table to one of the kid actors on set, looked at the kid and started M-A-S-T-U-R-B-A-T on him. The trainer who was 10 feet away yelled no and ran towards the child. It was too late. It took the monkey only a few seconds to completion um, a string of you know what shot out of the mini monkey and landed on the kid. I know this might be sick, James Gunn says, but that story, here you go. It says that James Gunn said that story makes him extremely happy. So do you want to explain this? This is again right from his blog, which he deleted, but we archive things, bro. Uh, the fake news media will cover up for pedophiles, but we don't cover up for the pedophiles. So you want to explain, James Gunn, why you thought it was, why it made you extremely happy for a child and a monk. I mean, this is, I don't even, I can't even say it out loud because it'll get edited. It's so bad that I can't even say it out loud because my channels would be shut down. The, the editing would just be the same. This is all, this is his blog here. You can go find it. If you go to Cernovich.com, you can find all this. And it's it just all right here, uh, jamesgun.com. But, of course, he deleted his blog, um, as you might expect. Oh, there's more. Um, there's definitely more on, his, um, there's more on his site, much more where that came from. Um, th there's uh, talk about NAMBLA membership. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and find the tweet where they talk about being in NAMBLA. I mean, you can't make this up. It's so sick. Th this is not. Oh, here we go. Video 100 pubescent. And by the way, pubescent, I don't know if you know what that means. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm, again, I'm not going to read this stuff because, you know, the editing. But he linked to a video of 100 pubescent. And I actually blacked out the link because I don't want anybody to click on that. That could potentially be um, child pornography. I don't know that it is, but th I did not click on the link, nor will I click on the link, because, well, I mean, I mean, read the freaking, you know, screenshot. And again, this is authentic. Um, I didn't archive this because I don't want to inadvertently uh, spread this kind of information if a child is victimized. But the Los Angeles Police Department can look into that for themselves. We sent that as a tip. So there was a bunch of pedophile um, supporters on Twitter, and they seem to not care. Here are some more uh, tweets where James Gunn says um, he tells you know, about a three-year-old child. Um, you know, you can read that. I'm too. By the way, I don't want to be unseemly, but the only way we can get this message out is if you share um, this link right now. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, uh, please uh, give an emoji, share this uh, video, like this video. If you're on uh, Periscope, just tap, tap, tap the screen. If you're on YouTube, like this. And of course, um, share this video. I, when I talk about really subjects like this, I don't like to promote my stuff because it's just this is like, I, I'm, I like bad jokes. I mean, come on. I, I have a gallows humor, but when it comes to children, like that's where I draw the line. So I don't like to promote my stuff during really serious things. Like, th like this is not fun. I'm not having fun. I'm not glad. I felt like throwing up last night. I couldn't sleep. I just thought about all the children they are hurting at Disney. I thought about all the children, James uh, Gunn, God knows what they're doing. 
I was up till three, four in the morning, go on my Twitter. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I was triggered. You're right. Oh yeah, you're triggered by children being abused in Hollywood. You're right. That triggers me. You can call me uh, names. You can attack me. You can protest me. But yes, children being abused in Hollywood triggers me. It does. And if you think that's funny, that's because you're part of the pedophile network and you support the pedophiles. So you're right. I, I do get fired up about this. So we need to share these links because the fake news media, they won't remember they wouldn't cover that Peter Fonda tweet. Peter Fonda said he wanted a child to be raped in front of the child's mother. Peter Fonda had a movie with Sony and they avoided it all day. They avoided it all day because the fake news media didn't want to cover it. The people, if we don't speak up and fight, the media is going to cover up the pedophiles like they covered up for Harvey Weinstein, like they covered up for Matt Lauer, like they cover up for all their little creepy friends. So share these links, share the videos, uh, share the screen caps. I don't care. I don't need credit. I don't need credit. Just get it out there. This isn't about me. This isn't about self-promotion. This is about getting the truth out and the fake news media will not do it. So let's go ahead and um, read some more tweets here. He said that he remembers their first NAMBLA meeting and they felt like they met some BFFs. Again, you can find all this. Um, Mary Matthews just told James Gunn that story about the monkey and the child. I'm not going to re-go to that. Um, James Gunn tweeted that he was stuffed with, apparently that's French food, and eggplant. He's Louis Andersing his ASS out. And then he mentions little boys there. Um, he, you know, he says he's doing a Hollywood film adaptation. You, you, uh, you saw that one. He said he had a new film, uh, Jerk Loose, he called it, um, a small town where, um, again, children. I mean, there's a pattern here. You know, this isn't like one or two or three jokes. You know, we've all made jokes. We've all, you know, made Mike Cernovich is not a, not a perfect man. Mike Cernovich challenges you to find anything remotely approaching this. Mike Cernovich is, is a flawed man, and there's no question about that. I've made some satire that, you know, isn't a good look, and that's, that's understandable. You're not – find something like this. Find, find – you'll never find anything like this. And this guy works for Disney around children. And he's going to be at Comic-Con around children today. He, so he deleted, of course, all of his tweets – so now, you know, the, the fake news media narrative is, oh, you know, it was old tweets. Old, it was just old stuff, guys. Lighten, lighten up, people. Lighten up. <clears throat> He's only talking about NAMBLA. He talked about doing a reading with the convicted pedophile. I mean, it just, it just uh, you can't make it up. I mean, you, you literally can't make it up because if you made up stuff like this, you're, you would be bankrupt. If, the, if you made it, this up, you would have no legal defense at all. There's not like, you know, if you made this up, you would have no legal defense at all. It would just be over. <laughs> um, end of story. YouTube, thank you for the super chat. Um, appreciate that. Yeah, I forget to remind because when I do stuff like this, I don't like to promote my stuff. It's just gross. Like this is not, you know, these are not the kind of stories where I want to promote my stuff. These are the kind of stories that... We just have to be, we just have to be dead, you know, we have to be dead serious about this stuff. And showing commercials or, you know, promoting things, it just, it just doesn't feel right. Never has. I've always been conflicted about that. But there, um, but yeah, so they covered up Peter Fonda. This guy's going to be a comic cut around kids and, and, and they're covering. So what can you do? Right? That's the big question. So you got to email Disney. You got to email. You got to email Disney. I'm going to go ahead and type in the emails to, um, oh, dear God. There's, here's a picture of, um, oh, dear God. It gets worse. Um, director, oh, dear God. This is horrific. So James Gunn and, and Huston Huddleston at the after party. I mean, this is just like you can't, you can't, you can't make this up. 
I just tweeted it out. I'm sorry. We're getting more information. I mean, just when I think it can't get worse, it does. Thank you, Chris, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, if it weren't for your, your all support, I wouldn't be able to do this. The fake news media isn't going to do this. If I didn't do this, who would, right? Nobody in the fake news media is going to do this. So you're right. I, I, I don't like to promote. I don't like to plug on stuff like this. But if I don't get your support and you don't stand up for me and you don't support us, then you would never get this story. I mean, the fake news media is even going, oh, alt-right conspiracy theorist uh, Mike Cernovich found it. Ew, you know, like, like, like it matters, right? So I am, um, oh shoot, so I'm, um, so hold on, I'm typing in these emails here. So here, I, I, I've t I'm typing in emails um, into, into Twitter. So you can, what you can do is you can email these people and um, let them know kind of what you think. So you can, you can uh, email one is Disney shareholder at broadbridge.com. I type that in. And then the other email you can send is twdc.pressinquiries at Disney. Dot com. So I'm going to go ahead and type those um, email addresses into the, um, the messaging bar because I don't want you to just be an active or a passive listener, right? I don't want you to watch this and go, oh, man, things are messed up. Oh, things are, you know, things are messed up. It's bad out there. No, no, no. I want you emailing. I want you on the emails. I want you asking Disney, why is this person allowed around children, right? This isn't about Oh, look at me. I wish the media would report on this stuff. Th thank you, Shelly, for the super chat. Very generous. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I wish the media would report on this. You think I wanted to be up till three in the morning, sick to my stomach, vomiting, you know, thinking about this kind of stuff, covering this? I don't want anything to do with it. So I wish the fake news media would do their job, and then I wouldn't have to do it, but they don't. But they don't. So uh, again, there's more, there's worse. So we have um, here, I mean, we haven't even got them all. We're not even halfway through. He deleted 10,000 tweets, people. He deleted 10,000 tweets. So he may have linked to child pornography. So he said, Huston Huddleston posted this video to James Gunn's Facebook page. And with the note, thought you'd appreciate it. I'm not going to read the title, but you can see that it mentions pubic people. Now, H Huston Huddleston is an interesting person. Um, he got that link from um, Huddleston. Here, I got I to gotta scroll here. Where is it? Here, there it is. Oh, there it is. Director James Gunn and Huston Huddleston attend the after party. So Huston Huddleston is a uh, child pornographer, as I just showed you in the previous link. So here is James Gunn in a picture with a pedophile, child pornographer, um, this isn't, you know, this isn't like rocket science here, right? I mean, it's not even like, it's not even like complicated, right? This is all like, this is all just all right here. All, just all right here, right out in the open, dude. It really is, it really is sick. It really is, um, really is sick. Really, really, really is, uh. Really, really, really is sick. Gosh. Oh, maybe. He tweeted it. He tweeted it. Like, there's no, like, there's no, like, it's all here. So he said his friend killed a W-H-O-R-E in Mexico, right? Like how much more do people need to see? How can Disney and the fake news media ignore this? It's right here. So or in case they kept the stuff about the time his friend killed the W-H-O-R-E in uh, Mexico. So, uh, you know, murder, I don't know. This is what he said. I'm, I'm just quoting him. So he's talking about, you know, the time, um, you know, it's, it's just right here. It's all here. 
This is not, you know, debatable. Laughter is the best medicine. That's why I laugh at people with AIDS. Hey, you know, that's kind of a joke. Um, stuff like that I actually don't have a problem with. Unless we're talking about children. I'm not like the internet police. Oh, you know, so offensive. Blah. It's like, no, 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 it's kids, dude. Like this joke, I actually, you know, should you joke about people with AIDS? You know, you could, you could have a debate about that. So James Gunn jokes about people with AIDS. You know, joke, joking about it. And um, so, yeah, here's another one. Thanks about the Nambla stuff. So it's all here. And the fake news media desperately wants to pretend that this isn't happening. So what you need to do, like the videos, share the videos, get the word out. The fake news media is not going to report on this. They are not going to cover this. They are not going to do the right thing unless we just make it so loud, so loud that they just can't ignore it. It's, it's up to us. We're the, we're the guardians. That's the irony is he allegedly, you know, this film he directed, The Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, we have to guard and protect the people from people like him. The, he talked about a hotel shower and, you know, uh, there, there's a pattern here. It isn't an occasional, you know, line here and there. It's not, it's not in a occasional, it's not an occasional line um, here and there at all. Um, this is like his whole timeline, 10,000 tweets. Again, children, it's all here. This is not, you know, this is not, um, quantum mechanics here. This is not that hard to, to figure out. It's all right there. And we have to do something. We have to contact, again, contact Disney, right? Contact Disney. I'm going to type in the emails, cernovich.com.